in the year 2009, 18th, I believe it was the 9th of July, I received a phone call from my mom, half one in the morning, and she was crying on the phone. I guessed it. The inevitable has happened. My father was bedridden from Parkinson's disease. I knew something untoward had taken place. Obviously, my father had passed away. I went for the cremation. My father's body was lying on stage. A few family friends, a couple of relatives were all there, talking a few good words about my father. It's quite amazing, you know, when you're born, people love you, and when you die, people love you. In between, you have to manage. It's quite funny. When you're born, hey, they'll do all that. And when someone dies, achha tha bechara, re, beech mein bol na. Beech mein bolne mein mar gaya, to beech mein bolne mein talk something good about that person. They started talking about my father, all these good things and all of that. And then one member, who was the leader of the community I belonged to, and who also happened to be family, spoke a few words about my father, and then he said, he said, actually this man would have lived longer, but the cause of this man's death is a son. He called me the killer of my father. Did you hear that? Could there be an insult worse than that? That night when I went to my mom's house, even after years of my spiritual practice, I was tossing and turning as these words rang in my ears that I was the killer of my father. It was because of my, me that my father had died. Ladies and gentlemen, my mind was restless. My emotional state had been disturbed. And when your emotional state is disturbed, you can't sleep, you can't get anything out of life. Your experience of life is proportional to your emotional state. Therefore, William Blake said, the mind can make heaven out of hell or hell out of heaven. That night, as I tossed and turned, I remember one statement, my guru, Radhanath Swami, the author of The Journey Home, it, if you can grab it, read it, beautiful book. He said, do not give the remote control of your emotions to someone else. That man, by what he was saying, was pressing a button on the remote control and making me feel trash. I depend on you to say that your talk was great and feel good. And I depend on you to say that my talk was bad and I feel trash. That means I've given the remote control to you. I feel good because you make me feel good. I feel bad because you make me feel bad. And how shallow is life that I don't have the guts to take the control of my emotions in my own hands. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to learn how to take the control of our feelings in our own hand. I, I will not allow any damned person under the sun to make me feel good or bad by what he or she says. If they say good, fine, that's good. Appreciation, nice, I'm happy with it. And even if they trash me, fine, it's their opinion. It's the way they think. 